Let's do a quick look at the DWF underlay feature of AutoCAD and the AutoCAD products. It's under the edit menu. What it allows, I'm sorry, it's under the insert menu. And what it allows you to do is to bring in a DWF as a background for a, um, a, a drawing that you're going to work on or design. And this is a DGN equivalent. Basically, you go out and grab a DWF file. Let me find one here. Not there. Um, what am I looking for? Oh. oh, here's one. Let's just use that one there. When you bring in a DWF, it opens like this. You can pick the sheet. Uh, it kind of X-refs it in so you can specify what the path you want to save is and all that. You pop it in, give it a scale, just like a block, and let's zoom out and see it. It's regenerating. So this is the DWF. Now this happens to be a notes sheet, which is probably not what you're going to be putting in too often, but gives you an idea of what's possible. Uh, and you'll it's you'll notice it's just a fixed image. You can't change it. So that's kind of how you want a background to work. But you can snap to it. Uh, so if you have, let's see if I can pan around here. I've got a goofy mouse. So there we go. So if you were to draw a line, um, you know, you are snapping to the points in the DWF. So it is better than an image because you have the ability to use the geometry as a background. But you can't explode it or do anything else with it. Uh, see, it says cannot explode DWF underlay. Really, you can only use it as a background. And it will plot just like a any other image in your drawing. And it will look just like uh, the way it did in the DWF. Very handy. It's called DWF underlay. Insert DWF underlay.